<clears throat> Hallelujah. Oh, my family, beloved of the Lord, I greet you in the wonderful name of King Jesus. It's always a blessed honor for me to come and pray with you, to share what the Lord has put on my heart. Hallelujah. I greet you in the name that never changes, that remains the same. Hallelujah. As you are coming on, as you are joining me today, as we are taking time out intentionally in our work day, in our whatever we are busy with day, I pray the Holy Spirit meet you where you are at. The Holy Spirit meets hunger. He recognizes hunger. Hallelujah. I greet you, my sister Lynette, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Thank you for joining. As you are joining, start praying in the Holy Spirit where you are. You haven't come to watch me. We've come to pray together. We've come to pray for one another. I want you to share this broadcast. Um, we have to share it as far and wide as we can and allow the Holy Spirit to do what only He can do with available surrendered vessels. So share this live on your broad, on your page, Facebook page. Tag in some friends. Hallelujah. Tag in some friends. Start praying in the Holy Spirit where you are. Ria Torabanda. Dito Niande Liliando Zabrahande Lelebe Shate Mahando Samande. Lebrando Sabrahale Rebesha Tarabande Dabando Shebriando. Le Bato Baba Baba Shetriando Lorobo Shabrianda La Ramanda. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I dedicate this broadcast to you. This is your prayer meeting. I am a co-laborer with you. I am your instrument. I am your vessel. Do whatever you want to do in the name of Jesus. These are your people. You know exactly what they are in need of. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, I pray right now. That our minds be made quiet. I don't know what they have been dealing with for this um, first part of the day. I don't know um, what unexpected news they received. What unexpected trial or test they received. But whatever it is, Lord, I pray right now that we turn our focus away from that but we turn our eyes towards you lord jesus and we just focus on your goodness right now in the name of jesus good afternoon emelisha beautiful daughter of the king thank you always for joining god bless you share this broadcast take in some people let everyone be blessed in the name of Jesus. As I was just sitting and just thinking on um, what I'm going to pray about, what God wants me to just say today on this prayer session, this word came into my spirit that I'm about to share with you. And I believe it's another now word. It's another now prophetic word that will help you through the season that you are in. It will help you for the future. It will help you through some things that you maybe didn't know how to deal with. But I know God is faithful. God is who he says he is. Hallelujah. And there is no one that can ever compare to him in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for your presence. Thank you. Just give God praise where you are at. And if you are praising, send me some hands that is in the air. Send me a waving hand and let me see how you are praising at home. Send me some fire emojis as you are praising the Lord for he is good. God, you are good.
good. Your goodness endures forever. Lord, I praise you. I give you the glory. I say thank you for all that you have done for me. Thank you for all that you've meant for me. Thank you, Father, that you are who you say you are. You are a good, good Father. Hallelujah. And I am blessed because I am called yours. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, and I even bless my sisters, my beloved that are joining. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amy, for joining. God bless you. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast. Share the broadcast because I know that this word that God has given me will bless somebody in the name of Jesus. Oh, riata bas shenda la ramande leba sota mande riato lo roboko jabra basse talarabashe tere levando robo shabra handa bashiatara. Father, I'm about to share what you've given me, what you've laid on my heart to share today. And the Lord, I pray that as this word is coming forth, Father, Holy Spirit, that you grab a hold of my tongue, that you do speak through your vessel. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And that every mouth that comes, every word that comes from my mouth is anointed, is anointed to set free, is anointed to heal, is anointed to um bring restoration and healing in the name of Jesus is anointed to deliver in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah listen as I was just sitting here you know in this morning in this short period of time on this Monday morning yes it's back to school man um, Tuesday morning sorry it's back to school I know some of you all were running around like headless chickens some mummies out there with me you were screaming at the top of your lungs grab this grab that make sure you're on time no 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 we know so we've been at it this morning because we are back to school we are hurrying we are you know just so much happening and then you get to work there's things happening at work you have to deal with people you have to deal with people's emotions you have to deal with that you have to deal with this some of you have other things that is happening in your life that you don't know when this is going to end you don't understand what is happening around you you know just many things many many things hallelujah but listen as i was just sitting and making my heart ready to come on this life i hear this word m bush m bush and i want to read the definition of ambush Ambush, the definition, according to the Oxford Dictionary, it means a surprise attack by people lying in wait in a concealed position. Um, or a surprise attack by me by an animal that is lying in wait in a concealed position and as i heard this word ambush and i was asking the holy spirit about why he's dropping this word in my spirit i hear the spirit of the lord says don't allow the enemy the devil the accuser of the brethren ambush you if you are hearing this word, just type in Amen so I can know that you are hearing this word and this word is meaning something to you. Don't allow the devil, the enemy, in whatever form he may come because he comes in the form of people, he comes in the form of your uh, your colleagues it comes in the form of your neighbors it comes in the form of whatever he wants to come in and he wants to ambush you but today i'm saying do not allow the devil to ambush you do not allow him to attack you surprisingly attack you out of the blue like how many of you have experienced just something out of the blue happening and you sit back and you, you you think to yourself what just happened 
Like, where did that come from? Ambush. Ambush. But we are saying right now, we are drawing the line. We are no longer allowing the devil to ambush us. Now, how are we going to do this? Hallelujah. Listen, I want to read you this scripture. Psalm 59 verse 3. They have set an ambush for me. Fierce enemies are out there waiting. Lord, though I have not sinned or offended them, I have done nothing wrong, yet they prepare to attack me. Hey, listen. Listen. The enemy has set out to ambush you. There is nothing you can do about the fact that he is lying and waiting. The Bible says, the Bible says he is uh, um, waiting like a roaring lion to devour to devour another uh, another um, translation says be sober keep watch your enemy the devil is like a roaring lion sneaking around to find how to attack you and in the place attack we can put the word ambush he is waiting sneaking around wanting to find out how he can come in and ambush you how he can come in sneak in unaware to come and attack you hallelujah how he can come in and surprisingly just over come in and overwhelm you hallelujah but we have got to get to a place where we are prepared and we are not caught off guard when the enemy attacks because it is clear that the enemy will not announce I am coming to attack you he's not gonna blow a trumpet and say I am coming to attack you Amy I am coming to attack you and Lynette no he's not gonna shout him coming he will not announce him coming he is waiting he is sneaking around lying in waiting to come and attack you he is lying and waiting as a roaring lion to come and ambush you. All of you know how it looks like when a lion is laying in the grass and he's watching his prey. He doesn't announce I am coming. The lion is laying there and he's sneaking around. And up until that uh, um, prey is unaware and he thinks it's safe and its surroundings are safe and everything is safe, then that lion jumps out and it ambushes its prey and that is exactly the devil himself that is how he operates he is a sneaky little devil hallelujah he is a sneaky little devil but we have come to stop him in his tracks why because we have the word of god and we have the god, lord god holy spirit Spirit on the inside of us he is with us to fight on our behalf in the name of Jesus so if you find yourself in a place where the devil has come sneaking in and he's come to ambush you I say today no longer we will not allow him to ambush you you will not allow him to ambush us anymore it is over his time is up hallelujah Listen, um, Revelations 12 says, it says, um, and I heard a great voice, verse 10, in heaven saying, now is come the salvation, the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ for the accuser of the brethren is cast down who accused them before our God day and night. Listen, the devil doesn't get tired. 
He doesn't listen. The Bible says he accuses us before God day and night. But listen what the, 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 the word of God says. Now is come the salvation and the power of the kingdom, the dominion of God, the authority of Christ has come to cast down, to cast down. Listen. Christ is on the inside of you. He has come. The kingdom of God has come through the spirit of God to come and dwell on the inside of you. So you are a carrier of the power and the dominion and the reign of Jesus Christ. The devil, the accuser of the brethren has no power over you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let that marinate a little while. Let that marinate a little while. So that you can understand who you are in the name of Jesus. And I want you to say with me, don't allow the enemy. I'm, I say this, declare this. I am no longer allowing the devil to ambush me. Can someone write that for me in the comments? I am am no longer allowing the devil to ambush me the sneaky little devil the small little devil i am no longer allowing the devil to ambush me in the name of jesus hallelujah glory be to god he is the god almighty that reigns above all things hallelujah hallelujah listen before i pray over us and for us I want to share what the Holy Spirit told me to share and how we can overcome, how we can be ready in season and out of season. Hallelujah. How we can be ready in season and out of season. It is possible. It is possible. It is possible. The, the, the first Peter five verse eight says to be sober, to be vigilant. Your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, is walking about, seeking whom he may devour. I want to focus on the first part. Be sober. Be watchful. By now we know we have an adversary. By now we know we have an enemy. We have an accuser. We know it. What are we going to do about it? Hallelujah. And the Lord took me to James 4. James 4 from verse 6. And it is important. It is important that I read from verse 6. Because I need someone to hear this today. In the name of Jesus. But he gives more grace. Therefore he says. God resists the proud. But gives grace to the humble. Next verse, therefore submit to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Verse 8, draw near to God and he will draw near to you. We love to quote the scripture, but we only love to quote verse 7. We never read it from verse 6 and we never continue to verse 8. We never continue. Listen. The way we can prepare ourselves against the ambush, the sneaky attack, the surprise attacks of the enemy, of our enemies. Because listen, some of us have enemies in this world and you did not even know they are your enemy. They are plotting against you. Listen, those who just joined, I want to read Psalm 59 before I go ahead. Psalm 59 verse 3 says, and verse 4 says, They have set an ambush for me. Fierce enemies are out there waiting. Lord, though I have not sinned or offended them, I have not done anything wrong, yet they prepare to attack me. Some of us have enemies that are pre that are plotting and planning our ambush. They are waiting. They are fierce enemies and they are waiting to see our downfall. 
Some of us are preparing to attack us. Yet the Bible says you don't even know you have them. You don't even know you've done anything to them. You did not do anything to them. Yet in their mind, the enemy has planted a seed. Because remember, the devil is our enemy. And he comes to plant seeds in the, in the children of darkness, hearts and minds to be our enemies. So you have enemies that you don't even know you have. You must be prepared in the name of Jesus. We can no longer go through this life being ignorant. We can no longer be ignorant of the devices of the enemy. No, we should wake up in the name of Jesus. Now listen, listen carefully. This is what you should do. First and foremost, before you can submit to God, before, because all of us, we submitting to God, but then the enemy is still attacking. We are not resisting and he is not fleeing. Now what is wrong with my submission then? What is wrong with my submission? Let me tell you. Verse 6 is what's wrong with your submission. Your heart is proud. You are full of pride. You've never gotten to a place of humility. You cannot submit without humility. Did someone hear me? You cannot submit without humility in the name of Jesus. So today I'm giving you keys. I'm giving you strategy from the word of God. How to be prepared. How to be sober. How to be vigilant in the name of Jesus. So that you can be prepared against the ambush of the devil. Because today we are saying, I am no longer allowing the devil to attack me, to ambush me in the name of Jesus. Some of us have to recognize that we must humble ourselves before the Lord. There might be some people that you might have to forgive. Hmm? There might be some people that you might have to forgive. There might be some things that you must let go of. There might be some things that you must have the Holy Spirit cut out of your life. There might be some friends that you might have to let go of. Is someone hearing what I'm saying? Humility. Humility is not meekness. It's not speaking soft. It's not being poor. Uh -uh, that's not humility. Humility is a change in your heart. It's a posture. It's a position in the name of Jesus. So some of us have to become humble. We have to humble ourselves before the sight of the loving God. Because the Bible says he gives grace to the humble. And listen, it is that very same grace that he gives us that brings us to a place where we can actually submit to God. Did you think you submit to God through your out of your own strength? It's a lie from the devil. You cannot submit to the living God in your own strength. You need his grace. There's a reason it's like that, this in this order in the Bible. You need his grace and you will only obtain this grace when you humble yourself before the sight of the Lord in the name of Jesus. And when you've obtained this grace, submitting to God is easy. What does that look like? It looks like gathering with the saints it looks like getting up and praying it looks like studying the word of god it looks like loving your neighbor as you love yourself it looks like giving to the poor it looks like living a life that looks like the life of jesus submission submitting to god the devil won't have, won't have anything on you. The devil won't have anything on you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a scripture that is coming to mind right now. I wish I could find it quickly. I think it's John 14 verse 6 uh, verse 30 where, it's, where Jesus says he has nothing in me he has found nothing in me 
John 14 verse 30. Let me see. John 14 verse 30. Yeah, which is John 14 verse 30. Jesus says, I will not say much more to you, for the prince of this world is coming. He has no hold over me. Some, some other um, translation says, and he, in me, he has nothing. In me, he has found nothing. When you submit to God, the enemy has no reason but to resist you and flee. Why? Because he has found nothing in you that he can accuse you of. Nothing. Nothing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for that. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for that. He has to resist you. And he has to flee from you. That is the word of the Lord. That is the word of the Lord. Draw near to God and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded. Hallelujah. It's time that we come before God with clean hands. That we can raise clean hands before him. That we can have pure hearts before him. That we can come with confidence to the throne of grace in the name of Jesus. That we are so yielded and so submitted to this word. That the enemy cannot find nothing in us in the name of Jesus. I hope this word is blessing someone. I hope this word is helping someone. And it's giving you keys. It's giving you strategy. How to stand up. How to stand up against the ambush of the enemy. Listen, he's coming. He is coming. It's not that I am now telling you he won't come. No. There's a reason we are warned to be vigilant. There's a reason why Peter is telling us, be sober, mindful, be watchful. And there's a reason. But let him come and find you submitted to God. Hallelujah. Let him come and find nothing in you, according to John 14, verse 30, in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. I only have about 10 to 15 minutes left. Hallelujah. I am no longer allowing the devil to ambush me. Father, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I pray that this word becomes revelation knowledge to the hearers in the name of Jesus. And let them become doers of the word and not stop only at being hearers of the word of God in the name of Jesus. Let this word renew our minds in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. That no weapon, even if even though the weapon forms, it will not prosper in the name of Jesus. Even though the enemy is coming, he will find nothing in me. He will find nothing on me in the wonderful name of Jesus. I declare minds renewed. I declare, Father, right now that this word is changing hearts, Father God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that we will become battle axes for the Lord. Lord, that we will crush the enemy's head in the name of Jesus. That we will crush strongholds in the name of Jesus. That we will crush generational curses in our families in the name of Jesus. Because we are battle axes in the hand of the loving God in the name of Jesus. I pray right now that we will know who we are. Hallelujah. That we have the kingdom of God, the power of God, the dominion of God, the reign of God, the Christ living on the inside of us. Hallelujah. Where we step. Hallelujah. There must be a transformation where we speak. Hallelujah. There must be life in the name of Jesus. Where there is dry bones, they must come alive at our command in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful Savior. I pray right now, every household, every household represented in this life,
every household that will watch this recording afterwards in the name of Jesus that you are raising up soldiers that will set a standard of what it means to humble themselves before God in the name of Jesus hallelujah and I pray father your word says that you are a rewarder of those who diligently seek you it is your nature to reward us and I pray right now that we will see that reward make manifest in and through our lives in the name of Jesus as we continue to draw near to you we know you are drawing near to us and you are stripping away and you are consuming away everything that does not look like you anything that might make the enemy think he has legal right or access to us you are stripping it away anything that might look like the world you are stripping it away and you are teaching us by your spirit to humble ourselves before the sight of the Lord so that we can obtain the grace that is only given listen there is a grace that is only given to those who humble themselves and that grace in enables you to fully completely wholeheartedly submit to God hallelujah and the promise is he will resist the devil and he will flee from you in the name of the Lord Jesus father I pray right now as I am sensing the power of the Holy Spirit in this place I pray father that your children they are they are experiencing your presence right now as well in the name of Jesus let them experience you let them encounter you Holy Spirit reveal Jesus afresh to us let us see the face of our Savior afresh his loving eyes his warm eyes that loves us so much past our imperfections it loves us so much thank you Holy Ghost thank you Holy Spirit hallelujah God bless you thank you for joining and I pray that you go th to, uh, um, throughout your day with the presence of the Lord Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. I pray that you experience the communion of the Holy Spirit as we depart from this life in the name of Jesus. God bless you. God love you. God increase you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Blessed are you family.